I've just been to my local burger shop. I've got myself something nice and juicy to eat. There's a big label on it that tells me there's over 500 calories in this burger. I don't care. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel for a Monday afternoon and another visit to my cab. Hope you're all doing alright, I'm just uh, tidying myself up after devouring that burger I just had. Well, I made a bit of an outrageous statement, didn't I? I don't care why I shovel down my throat. Well, I I actually do care. I was just trying to prove, you know, make the point that we should be responsible for our own food choices and what we actually put in our mouths. And I heard on the radio at the weekend a story which, quite frankly, makes my piss boil. Yes, you read that correctly. The government, in their infinite wisdom, want to force restaurants to put calorie counts next to all the items on their menus. If I was a restaurateur, I'd be telling them to fuck off and poke it up the darkest, deepest orifice they could find. And there's a very simple reason for that. It's going to cost a lot of money to implement, but I'm more interested about it from the customer point of view and the, the human point of view. You see, if you go out with your other half or your family to a restaurant, let's say one that sells ice creams, one that begins with K, I've just done a delivery from there by the way, the last thing you're going to be worried about is calories. If you go to a restaurant, you're going to want the biggest, stonkiest, largest ice cream you could get your hands on, the biggest, meatiest steak you could eat, and the largest amount of chips. People go out to have fun, drink, and eat food. It's as simple as that. And whatever, I'm going to say, box ticker in Whitehall came up with this idea, needs to get a life and stay the fuck out of ours. It is never going to work. They're just doing this to try and make a point and say, oh, we're making a stand against national obesity. It is absolute bollocks. It is not going to achieve anything. And you have a great danger, in fact, of increasing the anxiety of people who already have eating conditions. It's absolutely ridiculous. Let me tell you where the problem lies. We are a nation that don't look after ourselves properly. There's lots and lots of people that are obese for lots and lots of different reasons and it's not always the case that they've been sitting there shoveling shite in their throat all day long. There's medical reasons people are obese as well and this isn't going to work. Like I said with another video a while back, you have to concentrate on our children. If you're going to take anything long term and fix it, you've got to work on the next generation, be that political views, health views, anything. You need to get them out playing PE, you need to get them running around, you need to get them educated about the choices they make with what they eat. That burger I had, yes it had 500 calories, I could make the same thing at home with basic ingredients for you know, more more healthier. I could get some low-fat mints, some onions, you know, low-fat cheese, and you can make a healthier version of it. Our kids at school need to be taught to cook, need to be taught to keep fit, need to be taught to look after themselves, need to be taught self-respect. All of these things that we're losing as a nation. Once you do that, obesity that can be controlled will eventually disappear. That's what I think, but what the hell do I know? I'm just a cab driver that likes burgers. Anyway, let me know what you think about all this. I think it's bollocks, and I look forward to reading your comments below. This is the Gabby Cabby for now, signing off. Toodaloo!